Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and welcome back to another What on Earth Happened to video. This is the series where I take a character from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Anime universe who either disappeared or just lost a lot of relevance as the show went on, and I go over my thoughts and my theories as to why that may have happened. We have already done this for Jim Cook of GX and Aki Izaoi of 5Ds. Those videos will be linked down below if you want to check them out. As always, I let my patrons vote on this series, so thank you to everyone who voted, and you guys selected everyone favorite Code Geass character ripoff, Jean-Michel Roger. I know a lot of people call him Roger, and it's much easier to call him Roger, but since he's basically a meme character, I'm just going to call him Roger throughout this video. Roger was the main villain of the Synchro Arc in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, and was actually one of the only villains in Yu-Gi-Oh! history not defeated by the protagonist of the show, as main rival Akaba Reiji handed him his infinite loop defeat in episode 99. This was also the last time we ever saw one of the more interesting members of Academia, given his betrayal and all. He gets sucked through a dimensional wormhole towards the end of the episode. So I ask, what on earth happened to Jean-Michel Raget? Where did he go? I will be giving my theory on it and discussing whether I think the production issues towards the end of Arc 5 may hold the answers to this question. I hope you all leave your own theories down below, and I hope you enjoy. Jean-Michel Raget, while certainly not the most captivating villain in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I did find his story arc to be pretty unique and interesting. He had betrayed Leo and Academia in hopes of controlling his own dimension and city. I always thought he was going to show up during the last 50 episodes, even just briefly to see Leo Akaba make quick work of him, or to use him as an example as to what happens if you betray Academia, I think would have been really, really useful for Leo's character, as he was nothing more than a mediocre villain by the end of the show. However, Raget Jay never shows up again, which always left me wondering what happened to him, and if there were original plans to use him in some sort of way at one point or another. So, here is what we know. Rajay activates the Dimensional Gateway with the hopes of dropping Neo Domino City and everyone in Neo Domino City, including the Lancers, into the Void Between Dimensions. <laughs> Totally unhinged, Rajay maniacally screams for everyone to disappear. I actually think this is pretty ironic and pretty telling in regards to what happened to him. Rajay is the first to be sucked up into a wormhole. The initial wormhole disappears, and about a minute later, another wormhole appears. Yuzu is the second to go, followed by Yuya, Gangenzika, Shun, and Shingo right after, before the device is permanently shut down. Yuzu ends up in the fusion dimension, while Yuya and the others end up in Heartland, the XZ's dimension. While it's possible while Rajay was also sent to one of these dimensions, it's more likely that he was sent to Standard, the original dimension where Arc 5 begins. I say this because I like to try and put myself in Rajay's shoes, given the hypotheticals. Had Rajay been sent to Xyz or Fusion, his first move would have been to go to one of the Academia outposts. He clearly was a high-ranking Academia member before his betrayal, given the important role Leo Akaba gave to him when he left for Synchro, so I'm sure Rajay knows where Academia are stationed in both of those dimensions. However, as previously Previously stated, Rajay is never heard from again, so the chance he went to either of these dimensions are highly unlikely. Now back to Standard. Remember, Standard was the only dimension that Leo Akaba and Academia had yet to stage a full-scale attack on, like the one we saw in Heartland. Rajay, with no weapons and nowhere to go, was unable to do anything in the Standard dimension. Maybe he could have gone to the Leo Corporation HQ, but I don't think Himika Akaba would have taken too kindly to one of the right-hand men of the man that left her in her Sun. While the standard theory is interesting, I actually don't personally believe it. Going back to my initial point, I think Rajay's original wormhole was successful. I think the original wormhole did take anything it consumed to avoid between the dimensions, and that is exactly where I believe Rajay went. A man who had completely lost his mind, screaming for everything to disappear, only for seconds later to disappear into the nothingness, is actually quite poetic. And so, that is what I personally believe happened to Rajay. This also makes sense as to why he was nowhere to be seen after the dimensions reset in episode 140. Characters like Dennis were revived, but characters who were no longer a part of the dimensions, like Rajay, were not. 
It's actually quite disturbing to think about a character just being trapped in an empty void of the universe, but if there was any character who deserved it, it was definitely Rajay. Now, I do want to go over some behind-the-scenes issues that might have contributed to Rajay never showing up again in the story. I say the word might with extreme skepticism. One of the animators of Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, Mako Abe, tweeted this as the show was nearing its end. I have done a whole video on this saga already, which will be linked down below. Basically, it confirms that there were serious communication issues behind the scenes at Studio Gallup. That's really all it tells us, though. It doesn't by any stretch of the imagination confirm that Arc 5 was supposed to have a vastly different ending, or that the ending was rushed, or that Rajay was supposed to show up, or anything like that. While it's definitely implied, there's no confirmation anywhere in these tweets, or in any messages that any of the directors or animators left behind for us. While I found his disappearance to be a little underwhelming, because I always felt he could have been used to legitify a character like Akaba Leo, it was an acceptable end for his character arc. However, the question of what actually happened to Rajay after he was sucked through the wormhole will probably never be answered, and we will always be left wondering in that sense what on earth happened to Jean-Michel Rajay. And that about wraps it up. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the third installment of What on Earth Happened to. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to everyone on Patreon for voting. If you are a patron of mine, a new poll for this series will be up probably sometime later this week. And I hope you guys please leave all your thoughts down below. Let me know if you agree with my theory that Rajay is in fact between the dimensions in some mysterious void. That probably means he was killed off. I can't imagine a character being able to live in an empty void, the one like he described, the one he wanted to drop Neo Domino City into. Or let me know if you believe the theory that he did end up in Standard and there was just nothing for him to do, which is why we never heard from him again. Or let me know if you have a different theory as to what happened to Jean-Michel Rajay. I do not want to hear any crack theories that he is the king chess piece in brains, guys. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All kidding aside, I hope you enjoyed it. A special thank you to my platinum tier page. Patrons Alexa Baker, Glenn McCookin, Jorge Carrillo, James Rose, Samuel Stark, Thomas Adderley, Goosey Q, Vincent Vanderveen, Brian Ford, Horace May, and Rex Kentrix, and do my Diamond Tier Patrons Jesse Wood and Garrett Palmer, and do my Egyptian God Tier Patron Chris Swan. A huge thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. I cannot tell you how much it helps me out and helps out the channel, and a huge thank you to everyone who just watches these videos, because without you guys, I would not be able to do this. Thank you all so much for watching. I will talk talk to you down below and i hope you have an amazing day